Rick Gage with Campers Inn in Kingston, New Hampshire. Today we're going to take a look at the Rockwood Ultralight 2606. It's one of several really good floor plans that Rockwood has in that size just a hair under 30 feet. So come on over and we'll take a look at some of the features outside and then we're going to head on inside. For the 2606, one of the things that I find is really nice about it is you get extremely generous um, pass-through storage. Okay. Uh, this is also a good place to notice actually while we're in here is Rockwoods are all 100% aluminum framed. Whereas many other companies that have aluminum frame outside, they go uh, to wood frame for dinettes and underneath the bed, not Rockwood. Slam latches helps you uh, get a nice secure lock. You have the um, awning with the LED light strip. You have outside speakers so you can annoy your neighbors while you're camping. One thing that Rockwood has done starting around August of this year is they have gone to an American-made tire. These are Goodyear tires. It's the only trailer tire I've ever seen that is made in USA. And they're now standard on all Rockwoods with the aluminum wheels. The entire industry is going toward these uh, contact with the ground steps and it's a wonderful thing. It's much more stable when you're climbing in and out of the coach. You don't have the bounce. Rockwood takes it one step further and they actually counterbalance the steps. So it's very, very simple to raise and lower. It's just a nice little extra touch that Rockwood does. Coming around to the back of the coach. There is now standard a pitch receiver it's not really designed to tow anything, but it is designed to take a bike rack or any other kind of uh, something that can go into the receiver hitch. Ladders are standard on Rockwoods, as is the uh, pre setup for the backup camera. New for 2021 and a half is the fact that they are now prepped for roof solar. It doesn't come with roof solar automatically, but it is an option. Okay. I think that's it for the outside. Let's go on inside and I'll show you this really nice floor plan. Okay, now we're inside the Rockwood 2606. Um, some of the nice things with this is uh, it's a very large, generous rear bathroom, which we'll see in a little bit, and it has a north-south bed up front. So why don't you come on over to the bedroom and I'll start there and uh, we'll show you around. So again, you have a north-south bed. This is actually a counter. I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, with nice storage underneath. Again, the aluminum framing and you get a couple of drawers and a heat duct, but you do get some nice storage under the bed as well. The carpeted area that you see is actually creating the frame for that large outside pass-through that we saw earlier. Now, sometimes when I show this floor plan, people don't even recognize or notice that the wardrobe is in a slide out. So you get very generous storage here. And this whole thing is in a slide. When you are traveling, it comes in right about to the edge of the bed. And by doing that, they are able to really open up the bedroom. You no longer have the big cabinets on either side of the bed that kind of sometimes makes you feel a little claustrophobic, it makes it feel wide open. You get a nice table on either side. Um, they both have outlets and they both have USB ports. So anyone that has a CPAP machine or simply wants to charge your cell phone, you got plenty of room right there for that. From your angle, you won't be able to see it, but up here in this wall, there is um, wiring for a second bedroom television. It doesn't come with it in here, but it is available. Also up here in the skylight, this particular one came in with one air conditioner, but it is pre-wired for a second. And if you wanted the second AC, you would lose the skylight and it would go right in there. Okay, moving on to the kitchen. You get a nice corner kitchen here. Um, I'm gonna grab the countertop extension right here. If you want a little extra storage, you can, or countertop, excuse me, you can put it right here. And they made the bedroom door a little extra wide, so even when this is in place, you are able to get around it nice and easy. Okay, good size oven for an RV. I don't think I'd make a Thanksgiving turkey in here, but um, it's pretty good size. 
They are still sticking with the traditional propane and electric refrigerator. It is a nine cubic foot if I remember correctly. One thing that's really nice about this layout is the how good the viewing angles are between where you sit in the sofa here and the television. One thing I like is the little, little extra storage you get behind the television as well. If this were my camper, this would probably be my liquor cabinet. Underneath here, you get some more storage and you get some nice speakers right here that are related to the TV. Okay, moving over to this area, you have a couple choices here. This has the, um, the sofa that reclines. And there's an outlet and USB port right here as well. And, the, and you have the buttons to uh, make it recline. If you'd rather have the trifold sofa, <clears throat> that is available as an option in this spot. This particular floor plan came in with a booth dinette. It is also available um, as a table and chair setup. There are pros and cons to both table and chair and booth dinette. With a booth, you can turn this into a bed, um, so long as your guest isn't too tall and you do get some nice storage underneath. Here's one of the drawers. One of the key features of the 2606 is the bathroom. It has a very large, generous bathroom, and we'll take a look at that now. Most RVs in this size class are going to have the neo-angled corner shower, but with the 2606, you get the rectangular shower, considerably larger when you're in it. And in general, a rear bathroom floor plan is gonna give you a larger bathroom than a midship. So a lot of people go with this floor plan uh, because of the bathroom. So, I hope you enjoyed this walk around. My name is Rick Gage, and I approve this message.